Democrats in Congress are like the Astros, cheating their way to the top. Oh shit! Oh, he's talking shit about Texas now! I want to preface this by apologizing. Um, yeah, I apologize in advance. Three dirtiest jobs in the world. Professional wrestling. Politician. And bull riding. Let's go, boys. We call that bull Nancy Pelosi. It's the beast. Now that's Texas tough, baby. Fucking Two out of three dirty jobs. We call that bull Nancy Pelosi. Yep. I'm a big tough man. I'm wearing bull armor and I'm riding bulls. This is, this is what it means. This is what a real man does. And this is what a real politician does. And it's a dirty job. And I'm about to virtue signal 5 million different ways about how I'm, I'm a conservative and I'm going to stand up for your values. Fuck Nancy Pelosi. I'm, done. I'm big Dan Rodeimer. Texas has big problems. We need a big f- yeah, make Texas, make America Texas again. No, te America was never Texas. Texas is one of the parts of America. So I don't, I don't get this. Why is pro wrestling dirty? Um, they don't shower very often. Fighter to solve those problems. Yeah, you can ask Dylan Burns about that. The communists in D.C. are ruining America. Not because he doesn't shower, but because he knows a lot about pro wrestling. Let me be clear. <laughs> we have a big problem. Texas. The commies, the commies are coming into our... <laughs> you didn't have to ask. Look at his hair. Oh, shit. Senpai Chow coming out here fucking hot and fast. Um, yeah, look at this. The commies, unironically saying the commies are ruining America. The communists in D.C. are ruining America. Texabu is a thing. We have a big problem. I see Texas. them every day. I live here. Send Big Dan to Congress. I know how to handle Nancy Pelosi and stop her bull and I'll put a boot right. I I have, we already have one LARPer named Dan in Congress from Texas. All right. That's Dan Crenshaw. We don't need another one. All right. In her socialist platform. Well, it looks like I already did. Men and women's bathrooms, boys and girls sports, higher taxes, higher gas prices. They're building a wall around DC, but they're not protecting our borders. They're laughing at- Every single one of those things is just incorrect. So if we want to take this point by point- Men and women's bathrooms- Men and women's bathrooms is not what anyone's advocating for. We're asking for trans women to be able to go into bathrooms of their gender, right? Because, uh, for instance, do you guys want this fella in the women's restroom? Yes? <laughs> well, gendered washrooms are dumb anyways, true. But this is a trans man born sexed female but took hormones has the beard fucking tatted up this this is a man all right by that same fucking vein do we want this chick having to go into men's restrooms She's got the boobas. She's got the makeups and the long hairs. We don't, we probably wouldn't want to force her to go into men's restrooms because she's not a man, right? So I don't think anyone is arguing for, uh, for, for men to go into women's restrooms. Next. Rooms, boys and girls sports. Number two, boys and girls sports. Also, no one's advocating for that, right? 
Now, trans girls going into girl sports, sure. And they're taking hormones most of the time, right? Unless their like, body rejects that. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, they're generally going to go into girl sports because the, the hormones make it to where they wouldn't be competitive in boy sports. And they're usually not even competitive in girl sports. So, yeah, what is a girl's sport? Yeah, and also, nobody cared about girls' sports until, like, the last six months, it seems. Because I've never seen anyone fucking say, oh, yeah, yay, have you seen who they're trading to the to the WNBA team, whatever the name of that is, here in Houston? I assume there's a WNBA team in Houston. No, nobody fucking cares about women's sports unless it's to be able to hate on LGBT people, right? Sports. Higher taxes. Biden's tax plan has already said that they're not going to raise any of the taxes that were lowered for people under, I think, like 100K. I can't remember the exact number, but for people that are in like the middle class aren't going to have their taxes raised. But rich people are. So unless you just like really like rich people being able to buy their 15th yacht, then I guess this is this is bad. But in general, this is probably a good thing if you want to make sure that we have a uh, good social order and good social safety nets. Is higher gas prices. They're building a wall around D.C., but they're not protecting our borders. And they're still on the fucking, well, we need a wall. Obviously, we need a wall to make sure that people can't get through our border as if the wall would even help with the immigration pr crisis. You know what kept people out of the country? Uh, the idea that they would never see their children again because Trump was removing children from their parents without keeping track of whose child was whose. And now there's like 4,500 children who will never see their families again because their parents got deported and the children didn't because they didn't keep any good records of everything, right? So they literally just ripped this, this family values fucking party ripped families apart ir like irreparably and uh and, and you know so like th it it didn't help anything it just ruined families they're laughing at us now they're gonna try to they're laughing at us now they're gonna try and take away our guns wait who, who is he saying is laughing at us our borders they're laughing at us now they're gonna try to take away our guns no one's taking away anyone's guns Oh, hell no. I moved my family of seven, Cringe. seven back to Texas because I wanted to raise my kids in a constitutional friendly state. Here in Texas, we are free. We live free. We are a threat to those in power. They hate Texas. They hate our way of life. I've... I've lived in Texas for most of my life, but I've also been to other states. I don't see any major difference living here than in any other state i don't know about you guys but like it's not like we have a massively different culture here in texas outside of the fucking larpers who walk around in cowboy boots and cowboy hats goofily down the street like this the communists in dc want to shut down our churches close our businesses indoctrinating why? our children why would the, what what for what purpose do they want to do that? That's one thing that I never understand. Why do why do they think that Democrats want to or I'm sorry, the commies in Congress, why do they want to shut down the churches? Why do they want to close down all the businesses? What do they get out of closing down all the businesses? What do they get out of wrecking our economy? I don't get it. I honestly don't. Children, communism in our classrooms. Make I wish. Our daughters unsafe in sports and school. Wedge issues like trans children. Yeah, let's just let's just fuck with every single LGB child until uh until we're no longer uh politically able to. That's all that they do. By the way, think about that uh if you've if you're like older than 14 years old and you can remember back when people were arguing against gays being able to marry, uh, remember that shit where they would just say like, well, what's next? They're just going to let people marry goats and marry their dogs, right? Well, number one, I don't think that anyone has married a goat or a dog in the United States. No one's argued for that politically, right? And none of the horrible fucking things that people said, like it would devalue marriage in what way? Just because... 
you got married and now other people can too? Is it like the, the there's an inflationary quality to the amount of marriage license? So if we open it up to people that don't want to like don't want pussy or don't want dick, then they they also are, are losing out. Like what is the what is the point? Destroy American borders and our American history. We must stop them. There's never any, they never actually like explain what they mean to. How's it going, Patty O'Malley? Hire me to represent you, and I'll go to D.C. and kick some left-wing ass. Voters in the Texas 6th Congressional District vote Big Dan in the special election. I'll fight for you and the Texas way of life. Let's make America Texas again. Rick. I'm Dan Rodimer, and I approve this message. It's just, it was just cringe all the way through. Nothing made any sense. Nothing was right. Oh, God. Wait, is he not even from... Wait a second. He's not even from Texas. Why? No. He was a professional wrestler? Oh my god. Uh, why is he running in my state? Uh, <laughs> when did he move to Texas? In 2018, he ran for the Nevada State Senate. He's, he hasn't even been living here for two years. Personal life. Grew up in Rockway, New Jersey. In Florida. Started a program with children. To provi provide Christmas to children in protective custody. Oh, stop. Resides in Las Vegas with his wife. I can't fucking believe this. Thank you for the follow, friend. Music music geek, I guess. Nice. I am I'm fucking blown away. This guy this guy was LARPing hard. This guy's LARPing so fucking hard. Look at this shit. He's not even a bull rider. Wait, he's not even a bull rider. He said that he was a bull rider at the beginning of that. He was a professional wrestler. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait. Oh, shit. Accusations of assault? Holy shit. Rodimer has been accused of assault three times but has no convictions. In an agreement, he admitted to committing the offense, and upon completion of a six-week anger management training course, he the charge was dropped. Wait, wait, he, there's got to be something about him. He never did. He never did bull riding. He has lived in the, he's lived in Texas for less than fucking two years. Wait, no, he also ran for it in 2020. He just moved to Texas. You guys, you guys, I can't fucking believe this. Oh my God. He doesn't even, he hasn't even lived in Texas long enough to, wait, hold the fuck up. This is, this is unironically stolen Texan valor. All right. I've lived here for fucking 20, what, what, 21 years or 20 years exactly. Like, holy fucking shit. Stolen saddle, yeah. What the fuck? Every single bit of this is fucking stolen valor. Please play. Reload. Okay, reload the fucking video. I can't fuck it. This is the most grifty shit. Three dirtiest jobs in the world. Professional wrestling. Politician. 
Kimball run. Let's go, boys. Okay, so when he says, I've got two of those down, right? He was lying. Because he said he had two of those down. P professional wrestling politician and bull riding. But he's never been a professional bull rider. He's also never actually been elected to any place because he's lost all of his fucking uh, campaigns. So he's only ever been a professional wrestler. And bull riding. Let's go, boys! And look, they played in slow motion because he couldn't last on it for eight seconds. Yeah, that guy can't, that boy can't fucking ride a bull. Hold the fuck up. Look how fucking close he was to the fucking thing. If that's all the footage that they had of him riding the bull. I'm sorry, if you guys don't know, sorry, this might just be my, my Texas showing because I've been to the rodeo a couple of times. But the goal is to, uh, the goal is for him to, uh, it is for the bull rider to stay on the bull for eight seconds. And if that's all the fucking footage they had. Let's go, boys. You're right. They don't show his head. That could be fucking anybody. We call that bull Nancy Pelosi. It's the beast. Now that's Texas tough, baby. <laughs> It's an act! He never- That wasn't even him! It was a fucking stunt performer! I can't believe it! Holy shit, you guys are right! I can't fucking believe this shit! This is hilarious! Two out of three dirty jobs done! Two out of three dirty jobs done! I didn't ride the bull, actually, but like, you know, like- d <laughs> I'm Big Dan Rodeimer. <laughs> Texas has big problems. We need a big fighter to solve those problems. The communists in D.C. are ruining America. We have a big problem. Texas, send Big Dan to Congress. I know what. I need help. I need help. I need you guys to see if he has a previous, a previous video or a previous um fucking, what do you call it? Uh, uh, advertisement. I want to see what his advertisement in Las Vegas was. What costume did he put on there? Did he put on a fucking like, uh, like a 1950s outfit and walk around with fucking a deck of cards and say, hi, my name is Big Dan and I'm here to gamble with your tax dollars, but not actually gamble with them because I'm a Republican. Hi, Big Dan here and I'm a lifelong Nevadian. Nevadian? Whatever they're called. Uh, do you think the accent is fake? A million percent. This motherfucker is from New Jersey. Went to college in Florida and has lived in Texas for less than a year, okay? This guy is li is lying through every bit of this fucking video. I can't fucking believe it. This is so fucking cringe. You found something? You got something for me? If this is a Rickroll, you're banned. Okay, let's see. It's hangover themed. <laughs> I can't. What happened, America? How did we get here? He actually, he actually has themed fucking campaign videos based off of the state that he's running in. I can't fucking believe this. What has our government gotten us into? This is terrifying. America's hungover from Democrat policies. Wait, all of those things, really quick, I do want to see this in its entirety, right? But all of the things that he has on the ground here were products of what happened during the Trump administration. What happened, America? How did we get here? Riots and looting happened under Trump. What has our government gotten us into? We're on small business. Socialism didn't. It's not going to happen under Biden either. Fine. Confetti means a good party. That's true. America's hungover. Yeah, this is this is exactly what happens at a at a epic party. Also, what is this? This is like a living room from Democrat it's policies. Two beds put together, <laughs> or three three twin beds maybe. The fat cat politicians want more power. They always want more power. 
Their appetite is never satisfied. And the more power they get, the less freedom we have. It gives me a headache. My name is Dan Rodeim. People call me Big Dan. I used to take on heavyweights in the ring. But now I'm taking on heavyweights in my home state. Sense in- now I'm bringing on heavyweights into my home state and the state I love of Las Vegas, Nevada. Washington. Hey, everybody. Las Vegas knows how to fight. And it's time to put a fighter in Congress. But I handle Nancy Pelosi and stop her bull****. And I'll put a boot right in her social... Out there... Hi, I'm from, I'm Big Dan, and I really love Texas. Locals and Hi, I'm Big Dan, and I really love Nevada. <laughs> Tourists should enjoy our entertainment options here in Nevada. But should we also be able to go back to church? Politicians, they're gambling with our constitutional rights. Well, I'm happy to see casinos and hotels reopening. It's great. The small businesses are getting crushed right now, and they may never reopen. It's dirty politicians that get to determine what's essential and what isn't. Okay, buddy. This is so fucking funny. Watch this big Dan ad. One second, we're gonna get through one That's at a time. That's why Nevada okay? has one of the highest unemployment. We're, we're gonna do a deep dive into this guy. All this is what we're doing now. Holy fucking shit! This is amazing. I've never seen something so fucking amazing in my entire life. What a fucking switcheroo this guy is pulling on everyone, everywhere that he runs. He fucking pulls a fast one. I'm from New Jersey. I'm from Florida. I'm from Nevada. I'm from Texas. Let's fucking go, brother. Rates in America. I believe everybody's essential, don't you? Well, they cancel my show, man. Lord Almighty, feel my temperature rising. I'm high and high and high. And while unemployed Nevadans can't find work, my opponent, Susie Lee, is using the coronavirus to get multi million dollar checks from the government. Oh, God, not the Pawn Star guys. Susie Lee took $5.6 million I for her he casino their in oh, government God, are they funding. Be in here? that she voted for. That's money Susie Lee took Pawn from stars, you and no. put right in her bank account. What can I get for this? You know me, I know it's real, I know it's fake. Um, this is definitely a fake, it's worthless. Pawn Stars, no! No! I haven't watched them since I was like in fifth grade. Susie Lee's like a cheap knockoff version of Nancy Pelosi. It's understandable, since she voted with her 99% of the time. He's okay. so, oh, damn it, I, I meant to pause it. He, version he's, of Nancy. he's so mad about Nancy Pelosi that he crossed the state border to run in a different state so that he could try and win there. That He hates Nancy Pelosi so much he's gonna kick her bullshit here, but uh, call her bluff here in, in the casinos of, La- of Las Vegas. <laughs> Pelosi. It's understandable, since she voted with her 99% of the time. And they both love government shutdowns to help themselves. Nancy Pelosi should know. It's time for her to get another blowout. Democrats in Congress are like the Astros, cheating their way to the top. Oh, shit! Oh, he's talking shit about Texas now! Oh, you motherfucker! You're talking shit about my Astros while you're fucking running for Congress here? You scumbag! You son of a bitch! You get the fuck out of Texas, you son of a bitch! I fucking hate this motherfucker! Go fuck yourself! Aubrey Huff should know. Oh, whatever's politically expedient. One day it's fucking Las Vegas. The next it's fucking Texas. Where is Texas 6? Where is Texas 6? Oh, well, you know what? It is in Dallas. Those motherfuckers like the fucking uh, the Rangers, Texas Rangers, right? Whatever. Maybe that's the that's the fucking thing. Representative vacant. God damn, please. Please, not this guy. He lives in Nancy Pelosi's district. Aubrey Huff. Then why is he like here? Champion. Unlike the Democrat Party. My dad was a cop and he taught me hard work and respect of our law enforcement. And that's why our local law enforcement endorsed me. I will defend our- 
<laughs> Our local law enforcement endorsed me. Oh, what's that? I lost the election. Zoop! I'm moving to Texas, boys. <laughs> he just littered. Yeah. I love my community of Las Vegas. Endorsed by Elvis. Who means Nevada politicians, man? Elvis, I agree. When I was a former WWE pro wrestler, I used to fight in the ring. Now I'm going to fight to protect all Nevadans. It's time to flip the house and take back our country. I'm Big Dan Rodeimer, and that's why I'm running for Congress. I'm going to fight for my family like I'm going to fight for your family. God bless Nevada, God bless America. These are the videos that Big Dan doesn't want you to see anymore. Another one? I'm Sarah Rodeimer, Dan Rodeimer's wife. I'm the voice you hear in the call center recordings. What happened between Dan and I was a verbal argument, plain and simple. Dan has never laid a hand on me, not then or ever. Since then, we've gotten married, Ooh. we have five children we're raising, and one on the way. I'm disgusted that Susie Lee is exploiting our family. I knew politics was dirty, but I never knew they'd stoop this low. What? Please, someone find me that video. Not then or ever. Since then, we've gotten married. Wait, where's what the What happened fucking, between Dan I and I the... was a verbal argument, plain and simple. Dan has never laid a hand on me, not then or ever. Since then... I gotta see the attack ad. A failed career spent bruising and body slamming. If only ex-professional wrestler Dan Rodimer had kept it in the ring. But in real life, Dan Rodimer, an alarmingly violent rap sheet, vicious assaults, brutal beatings, domestic violence, as documented in his girlfriend's calls to 911. Send Dan Rodimer to Congress? No, because a violent lawbreaker can't just suddenly become a Nevada lawmaker. I'm Susie Lee and I approve this message. Wait, I wanna, where, they acted like they had the fucking audio. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, no, it does say. 